Hello friends, I hope you are doing good. Today we are going to learn STM32 programming for GPIO input using STM32 Cube MX and STM32 Cube IDE. So let us get started step by step. So now I will open STM32 Cube MX. It is open. Okay, uh, I will select here board. I am using Nucleo board. So click over here access to board selector. And I will type here Nucleo STM Nucleo f 411 re select here and click over here it will be selected and start project yes you can see these clock pins are already configured and this is for uh, UART pin so I will just reset the pin right click over here and clear pin outs and yes ok so first of all I will go to system core and select here debugger and I will select serial wire because of this is because there is serial wire in nucleo board ok and another thing we will go to RCC and this is HSE external crystal oscillator so on board there is no crystal oscillator so we will use internal uh, RC oscillator so bypass the clock source and in case of LSC there is already so we can select this one ok another thing uh, we will go to GPIO ok no need to go to GPIO just yes. ok now we will go to here and I am using here a button so I am connecting the button on PA9 pin so this is PA9 click over here and just select as a input it is GPIO input ok and one minute ok and I am using a LED that LED is connected on B1 pin so where is B1 pin ok this is B1 so this is GPIO output so click over here it is GPIO output ok so both are selected ok so now go to clock configuration everything is ok no, no need to change anything project manager here I will type here project name GPIO input ok and project location I will save inside this folder ok and just select IDE I am using IDE STM32 cube IDE ok now everything is ok just uh, go to generate the code ok so I will open the project STM32 cube IDE is opening click over here launch ok
okay so this is our project just go to core directory and go to src click on main.c this is main.c file i will remove unnecessary lines okay okay so i will show you uh, this is system clock config function here uh, system clock is configured and there is uh, gpio initialization function so here gpio is configured you can see here b port is uh, it is as a output mode because of led is connected on b port and this one is uh, P, uh, pa9 pin is for button this is digital input so this pin mode is uh, gpio mode input and there is gpio mode output okay and okay that's it only so i will write here program to read the button and if button is pressed then led will be turned on in if button is not pressed then led will be turned off so i will write here uh, gpio pin read function so it is hal underscore gpio underscore read pin okay and i will pass here gpio a this is port name and pin number okay so gpio underscore pin underscore nine okay so it will return high uh, sorry it will return true or false so i will store it in a button state variable okay and i will declare here this is global variable so int 8 it will be one byte variable okay so if button will be pressed then it will be high if it will be high then led will be turned on so if button state is high then led will be turned on i'll comment here if button is not pressed then led will be turned off okay so i will write here function to write the led pin so this is hal underscore gpio underscore write write pin and i'll pass here gpio b this is port b and gpio pin 1 okay and it will be set set means led will be turned on okay i will copy this function and I will paste here. Only changes, only change is here, right here, reset. Okay. So now code is okay. Now I will build this program. Click over here to build the program. Okay. So program has been builded successfully.
now i will flash the program so to run the program click over here so go to debugger i am using stlink because of internally nickel board is using stlink so click check over here and click on scan okay this is detected now apply and okay okay waiting for debugger connection okay it is writing okay download verified successfully so now it is successfully now i will press the button wow led is turning on okay if i press the button led is turning on if i release the button led is turn off okay friends and another thing i will show you how to debug so go to uh, debug so to debug click over here switch okay uh click on live variable and copy this variable button state and paste here okay there is value if i'll press the button this uh, value will be 1 if i release the button this value will be 0 okay so now i'll press the button sorry uh, now i will run this now i will press the button see this is one if i release the button this is zero again uh, i press the button this is one and zero zero sorry one zero one zero so friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you really like this video please do like subscribe and share thanks for watching